Following the insurrection at the Capitol and the fallout from his false election claims, former President Trump was kicked off social media. But while his Twitter ban is permanent, the fate of his Facebook account will be announced Wednesday. We're not talking about Mark Zuckerberg just handing something down, right? No, that's always been the way it was done in the past, actually. Um, any big decisions usually end up on Mark's desk. And I think they realized that that wasn't always going to be the best decision. Technology reporter Heather Kelly has been following the Facebook decision for The Washington Post and says it's now in the hands of the Oversight Board, a group tasked with ensuring respect for free expression through independent judgment. What do we know about the board? The board is brand new. It was first thought of in 2008 team, but it's only been going since last fall. They meet entirely over Zoom, just like us, and it's about 20 people. It's going to be 40 eventually, and they're all coming together to try and make these really big, complicated decisions, kind of like a Supreme Court with no legal standing. The board members include some of the world's leading experts on free speech and human rights, along with a Nobel Peace Laureate and a former prime minister. Because even without legal standing, the group's decisions will impact what more than 2 billion people see worldwide. And the decision's going to be interesting. There's going to be two parts to it. First, and this is considered binding, even though, again, they have no legal power, uh, the board is going to decide whether or not to uphold or overturn Facebook's decision to let Trump be on the platform. The second part of the decision is going to be a collection of policy suggestions on how to handle world leaders going forward. And I think that's actually going to be the more interesting thing to watch because it could really change how not just Trump, but leaders around the world are handled on Facebook. And that will likely have a ripple effect across social media and society at large. She says all you have to do is look back at the former president's last few posts to think about how future timelines might be influenced. It was almost impossible to see a tweet or a post that didn't have some kind of a disclaimer on it. And there was no telling really if those disclaimers did much, because if you see a big disclaimer that says, do not read this, you're gonna read it. <laughs> it's gonna get as many eyeballs at the end of the day. One thing that Facebook has been doing for a long time is it's had this quote unquote, like newsworthiness exception for world leaders and political leaders, where it just lets them post a lot more than regular users could, and that's helped them grow to power around the world. So it is hugely influential. It could impact the outcomes of elections in theory, and whether or not Trump gets let back on is only one part of this. Now, the reason why we know that this decision is coming down tomorrow is that the board already decided they just gave 48 hours for the president and for Facebook to essentially get ready. And then it will be implemented right away. And by the way, we do know that President Trump had written the board to try to reinstate his account. So it does appear as though he'll be joining if he's given the chance. Interesting. Well, Kent, the board has been criticized by many on social media because it was basically invented by Facebook and some of the members were picked by Facebook. So it all seems to be on kind of one team. Is there any chance that Congress or the government steps in, not just in this case of the former president, but any kind of permanent ban of someone on social media? Well, the board wouldn't really disagree with you. It was labeled as an experiment when it started. And I think it was almost an invitation that something else could supersede it. In fact, they even say right there on the website that their decisions can't conflict can't have conflict with the law. So Congress definitely could take action. Other governments could take action. It's just that we haven't seen a lot of action. Of course, Facebook and many other of these social media sites hope that something like this will kind of maybe stave off any kind of government interference. And real quick, Kent, have they given any indication of when this decision will come? Is it going to be in the morning, the afternoon, anything like that? Uh, the presumption was earlier tomorrow. I guess if you go back 48 hours, whenever that uh, <laughs> whenever that announcement came, that's when you could probably uh, anticipate it. All right, Kent, thank you so much.